Hello, book lovers. Today I'm reviewing The Chronicles of Nick series by Sherlyn Kenyon. So let's get to it. In today's review, I will be discussing The Chronicles of Nick series. I have only read five of the six books out. There's a plan for eight. And the books are in, in the order that come out. Infinity, book two, Invincible, book three, Infamous, book four, Inferno, book five, Illusion, book six, Instinct, which is going to be a major mo motion picture, book seven, Envision, which is coming out in 2016, and book eight, Intensity, which is to be released in 2017. I'll post the link below to the books in case you want to check him out. The series follows Nick, who's a 14-year-old living with his single mother in New Orleans. He lives a typical 14-year-old life, going to school, doing homework, having a, a little job, getting picked on. And all this time, he's unaware of a supernatural hidden world uh, all around him, in his school, in his job, uh, where he lives. I don't want to give away the plot, However, uh, the series contains a great deal of supernatural activity, demons, witches, zombies, vampires, werewolves, potions, magic, anything you can think of supernatural. The series is a coming-of-age story for Nick, where he experiences the growing pains of a teenager going through puberty, and the growing pains of that, the awkwardness, all these things. The series contains a great deal of violence, and some of it, to me, is gratuitous violence, unnecessary, just for the sake of making the story longer and perhaps a little more interesting. However, there is no nudity, language, or sex uh, that I could tell in the five books. There is insinuations, but this is meant for PG-13 type book. The writing is good, but the story seems to stretch longer than necessary. To the point where I got to book three and I just wanted the protagonist to move on and grow and all the characters just, just to move on and evolve. Out of the entire series, in my opinion, book one and two are the best because the story is fresh and new and you want to continue reading. Book three, four, and five uh, become stale and stagnant and uh, just becomes fluff. I don't even want to read beyond that. And so I, I just became bored in the entire story. Overall, the series is not bad. It talks to the mind of a teenager where he feels he needs a, an axe to grind against the world because the world is against him. In my opinion, there are better series to read out there than this one, like um, Pullman's series, His Dark Elements, or Jonathan Stroud, The Bartimus Trilogy, or Victoria Laurie, Oracles of Delphi. Those are all very good. Uh, engage in stories, fun to read, and you always want to know more. I'd give this entire series a 5 out of 10. 5 because it's a good uh, story overall, but uh, only 5 because after book 3, I didn't want to continue reading. In fact, at book 5, I it's all I could do to finish book 5. If you like my video, please click like. And post comments below if you want me to review anything or there's anything you would like to talk about or you have any questions, I can answer your questions. All right. Have a happy reading. Goodbye. Which is book one, Invincible, Invin, where to get him? I don't know what I'm saying. And I'm repeating. <clears throat> I have no idea why. <clears throat>